its origin it is basically classified by the size of grains it can be fine grained or coarse grained or it can be classified by on the basis of their <coughs> whether it is acidic or basic <coughs> so acidic rock how can we classify the acidic rock it has a high silica content that is the more than 66% its specific gravity is low less than 2.75 it is they are very large in color they are sorry light in color and free quartz is also present uh, one example uh, one common example of acidic igneous rock is granite second one is basic so it is just the opposite of acidic its silica content is very low its, its specific gravity is high and it is dark in color some of the common examples of the basic rocks are gabbro or basalt so i give, give you a quick glimpse of these rocks the acidic rock which i talked about like granite as we can see here it is a light color but its grain size is very large it can be visible with the naked eye also so it means uh, basically forms from the slow crystallization of magma the other two basic rocks one is gabbro it is it is also a coarse grain but it is a dark colored and intrusive rock it is usually black or dark green in color <clears throat> another common rock is basalt it is a fine grain
dry impact test was created in which all other steps remain same but the material is after tamping the material is soaked in water for 3 days and after that it is surface it is cleaned or dried from the towel or the any clothes and then again the similar steps will are followed so the basic difference between dry and wet impact test is the wet impact test is done after soaking the aggregate for 3 days next test is abrasion test okay again comes the question what is abrasion why it is done and which property we are simulating we measure hardness hardness of the material okay so uh, in the road how is the material is abrasing between between which two x which two materials the material is abrasing i want means uh, why is material is abrasing in the field or in the pav pavement which thing is abrasing in it okay wheel of the tires yeah. tire pressure by the moment moments of the yes. wheel of the tires <laughs> yes correct the traffic the load the traffic load which is coming on the pavement due to the repeated movement the material get abraded due to the mutual rubbing of the tire and the pavement okay so as you already told the aggregate we measure the resistance of the aggregate to wear and tear or we can see the hardness of the material by using abrasion test so apparatus which we need the first apparatus is loss and there are um, two types of abrasion test basically most uh, the los angeles abrasion test and devel abrasion test the most popular one is los angeles abrasion test and i will also be discussing the devel after this so first apparatus for los angeles abrasion test is this abrasion machine which is basically a cylindrical drum a hollow steel cylindrical drum it is closed at both ends it has inside diameter of 700 mm and an inside length of 500 mm there there are two bolts here this is this is just to unscrew it to fill the material inside it so what do we do first let's start talk about apparatus only we will also be needing a sieve of 1.7 mm and we also we need a cast iron wash it consists of uh, what we do we input the material in the machine so with the machine suppose uh, if uh, we just put the material in the machine and we are rotating it so it is it will cause some abrasion but due to the mutual loving of stones but uh, we are here to create the situation of actual load so what we do we put some extra steel walls in it which are 48 mm in diameter and their weight is around 400 to 450 grams so what we do we put some uh, specified number of balls in it and we rotate it at a certain revolution period so what happens the balls collides with the aggregates again and again due to which the material gets abraded and the ab abrasion process takes place so these are the specifications so if uh, based on the sieve size if your aggregate is falling in the any of the category so we are using these different gradations they have also mentioned the weight for each category and in addition to that they have also mentioned the number of balls which are required for each gradation so it is already given in the code the speed of rotation is 20 to 33 revolution per minute so for as i already told the revolution the weight everything is mentioned so for the a b and c a b c and grade d and grading the machine the revolutions are selected as 500 and for e f and g it is rotated for 1000 revolutions so what we do we input the material input the uh, balls and we rotate it at the at this speed for 15 minutes so after that the machine will be stopped the material is taken out and it is it is then sieved from the 1.7 mm sieve 
तो सिमिलर टू द इम्पैक्ट टेस्ट the material which gets passed through the 1.7 sieve is weighed and it is taken as the ratio of the initial material which we put inside the machine so that value is known at known as los angeles abrasion value this this is the number of spheres which are we described in the code for using different gradations what the specification told us this says that we can use uh, the highest upper limit for a great abrasion is 30% for bc and for 35% for other mixes it is actually very stringent um, here in our code in outside courts like in us they permitted it up to 40% for surface courts and 45% for base courts even they 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 have gone even up to 15% and they have not reported any performance performance 